Welcome to the Too Fast Tactical channel. In today's tabletop review, we're going to be taking a look at a subwoofer. This is the Blahpunk GTB8200. Now, uh, let me preface this unboxing with uh, a little bit of info about this. Um, first off, I couldn't find one of these in the USA. I, I looked. It, it, I get the impression these have been discontinued but they're available in other countries, uh, Germany and the UK and so on. It's also still listed as available on Blahpunk's website. So I don't know exactly what's going on, but you know, nobody on Amazon has these. There's none on eBay. Well, there are on eBay, but they're from foreign sellers. And um, Crutchfield um, had these on their website, but they're listed as being discontinued. So, I ended up buying this from a seller in Germany. Um, the The cost on this was eighty eight dollars, and I paid forty four for shipping. So that price was cheaper than buying a. There's one other alternate to this subwoofer for my purposes. I'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, anyway, so um, the uh, Blahpunk uh, GTB eighty two hundred. Uh, it's a very small subwoofer enclosure. Um, it has a single 8-inch subwoofer. It has, uh, it's an active subwoofer. It has a built-in Class D amplifier that's rated at 75 watts RMFs. Um, it is a vented uh, cabinet. So um, the uh, dimensions on this are 10 inches by 10 and a quarter inches high by 10 and 3 quarter inches deep and then 8 inches deep. So it's 10 and 3 quarters at the bottom and it kind of tapers off to 8 inches at the top. Now that's that's an important measurement uh, because I bought this specifically to fit a location inside my Volkswagen EOS. Now I have a VR6 EOS and I have two 6 volt batteries on uh, either side of the trunk and there's a small space in between those batteries that space is occupied by um, I guess what would be most uh, called most would call it a ski bag pass-through I'll, I'll show videos of, of that area at the ending of the video so I the, the EOS does not have a lot of trunk space uh, I'll, I'll just throw that out there right now and I didn't didn't want a larger subwoofer so I needed a subwoofer that was going to fit in that space in between those batteries that could fire through the ski bag pass through and I wanted to be an active subwoofer I didn't want to deal with a external amplifier and additional wiring uh, etc uh, most of the small active subwoofers are they're designed to go underneath the seat and they're a very slim design and I've listened to a bunch of them and they're just not very impressive. In uh, the currently available on the market there were two that fit my requirements. This Blahpunk and there's a JBL Stage 800 BA. Uh, the JBL would work it is more money. Um, it's about 184 from Amazon plus tax, so probably around 200 or so. It would have been 50, 60 dollars more than this Blahpunk. I chose the Blahpunk because the carpeting on this was a little bit lighter in color, which matches the trunk carpeting in the EOS. Also, the built-in amplifier is on the side and not on the rear. The, the JBL has the amplifier on the rear, and I didn't want all of that visible. Uh, because I may be attaching something to the rear of this subwoofer enclosure to maximize my usable space. So, uh, anyway, uh, let's get on to some specs on this. Um, the amplifier in it's a Class D amplifier. It's a vented enclosure. Um, uh, amplifier is rated at 75 watts RMS, 200 watts peak. Uh, that's a little bit less than what the JBL is rated at. The JBL, JBL is rated at 100. Um, it's made out of three-quarter inch MDF. Uh, it's got some bars on it to protect the subwoofer, which you can see in this picture right here. Frequency response is 30 to 200 hertz. It has, uh, you can do line level or high level inputs on this. It has separate controls for a low-pass filter, phase, and gain. 
has a one year warranty on it. Um, the, let's see, the, um, the JBL, I'm not going to talk a whole lot about the JBL because they're very, they're very similar, um, in size and such. So anyway, um, let's get on to the unboxing. So this arrived, uh, not in, this arrived in another cardboard box. Uh, this was inside, uh, the box is not damaged and it, it shipped fairly fast from Germany. Um, now inside the box, obviously is a subwoofer, which we'll take out in a second. All that's inside the box is this user guide and the subwoofer. There's no wiring on the inside of this box. So you'll have to provide all of your, your own wiring and your connections. Whereas the JBL, for example, does have a wiring plug and some wiring included. So let me take this out of the box and we'll actually take a look at the subwoofer. All right, the, um, the Blahpunk was packaged very well. Um, the box that we were just looking at was a heavy duty box. Uh, there was a lot of uh, extra uh, cardboard packing material in there. There was a, a piece that was specifically cut out to protect these controls. Uh, no damage to the box. Um, the uh, the uh, eight inch sub right here has these protective bars over it and these uh, pop out. Um, they, you can remove these if you so need to. They just kind of slide in and sit there to protect your the cone of your subwoofer. There's no speaker grill on this. As you can see on the side here, this is where the, the uh, internal amplifier is mounted. This was one of the sell points for me. I wanted this on the side. I didn't want it on the back. Um, you've got um, line level inputs here for um, for low level and high level inputs and you have a toggle switch here so you can toggle RCA inputs if you use RCA inputs you gotta have a remote turn on if you're using high level um, you don't need to use this remote turn on the when it detects a signal coming in on on this terminal it will turn on automatically that's nice it has a 7.5 amp fuse for reference the JBL has a 10 amp fuse um, these are your battery terminal um, screw down so you'll need like a, a split ring uh, to go in here for your ground and your battery. You have a gain control here which has some tactile feedback. You have phase control 0 to 180 and then you have your crossover frequency from 70 to 190. So that's that's everything that's on the side right there. The the rear, well to me this is this is the rear here. This is the angle part right here. Um, I didn't want the subwoofer amplifier here because when you open up the trunk you'd be looking straight in and you'd see this and I'll probably have something mounted right here, a storage, uh, uh, a trunk storage unit or something and I wanted this free. The venting for the subwoofer is right here on the top and also on the very top you've got the Blah Punk logo so you've got the vent and the Blah Punk logo on the top. And as you, as you can tell, this is extremely small. So um, there's not much else uh, to say about this. This is definitely uh, your standard uh, subwoofer type of uh, carpeting, which is kind of a dark gray with some white or gray uh, flecks in it. It's not as black as the JBL. The JBL is black black. This is a little bit lighter. So I did like that and I, I like the uh, amplifier being mounted on the side. So that's um, that's basically it for um, the uh, unboxing. Uh, I'll reposition the camera here and I'll show you the trunk so you can get an idea of why I purchased this and its intended purpose. All right, I've uh, got the camera off the tripod, so uh, I don't have image stabilization image stabilization turned on. So if it's a little jerky, I apologize ahead of time. Um, this is the uh, trunk of the uh, VR6 EOS and you can see that uh, there's two 6 volt batteries on either side of the uh, rear seat area and we have the ski bag pass through right there. Now this ski bag pass through normally has a, a plastic door that folds down into the trunk. That has been removed already. Um, there were some push pins holding that on. I had to remove the whole assembly to get at those push pins. Probably could do it 
inside the vehicle now that I know how how it's held in place. There's carpeting covers that go over the batteries. Uh, those are not currently in place because I still have to wire up uh, power and ground for the subwoofer. Uh, I've got high level signal wire, have high level, I've tapped into the rear speakers for high level signals to feed the subwoofer. You can see those, I've, I've got them marked left and right. I did that when I installed the Infinity Kappas in the uh, rear of the car. So you can see that uh, the I needed something to fit right there. And you can see that the uh, uh, color match is fairly decent between the internal trunk coloring and the coloring of the sub, so it'll blend in good. Um, one of the other important factors with this is, is there's a cover piece that uh, goes across here it's not in the car right now so whatever's in here has to actually sit below about this level so there's a few inches right here but it has to fit underneath here because this whole cover comes down and sits down here so that was uh, uh, important that it fit underneath the cover and basically this is going to be mounted right here and it's going to fire right in through that ski bag pass through so that's the uh, concept. Um, I'm, I need to wire up uh, power and ground, and I'm going to get to that. I'm going to put these covers back on, and uh, we'll come back and we'll take a look at the finished install. Um, for reference, with these two 6-volt batteries, and they're wired in series. So the, the positive for the subwoofer will be going over onto this battery, and the negative will be mounted over on this battery. That's uh, how we pull off, or how we pull uh, 12 volts out of two 6 volt batteries. The uh, trickle charger I have installed is wired up the same way. All right, we'll be back once uh, I get this wired up and we'll take a look at the uh, finish install. All right, here's the uh, blob punk installed with the uh, trim panel put back in place. So you can see that we're not really eating too much into my available space. Now I don't have a, a solid idea for um, uh, securing this in place. Right now I've got Velcro holding it so it doesn't uh, slide around. Um, normally I would do something on the bottom of the subwoofers, L brackets, but I need the uh, panel underneath the subwoofer to be easily removable for access to the spare tire. Right now I can just slide it out. Uh, and then slide it back in. Uh, so I've got some Velcro on the top, some Velcro on the sides. Uh, it's in there pretty good, but uh, I'm going to have to take another look at this and uh, come up with a better solution uh, for uh, permanent mounting. But that's going to conclude this video on the uh, Blahpunk 8-inch sub.